Technology is the story of parents saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And then their kids going, no, oh, you don't understand me, dad. And then inventing the microwave. Lots to unpack there. <laughs> AMD has released a firmware update that fixes an issue caused by a previous firmware update, which disabled cores on a couple of Ryzen 7000 CPUs. That was a rogue update that escaped from the lab. Science has gone too far. The affected CPUs were the six core Ryzen 5 7600X and the high end 12 core Ryzen 9 7900X, both of whom weren't available for comment, which is fair enough. It's an embarrassing situation and they don't have mouths. The buggy firmware also caused other problems, namely creating a situation where systems with the 7600X simply refuse to boot. We've all been there. Thankfully, motherboard makers, including MSI, are already releasing BIOS updates containing the new firmware, just in time for AMD to announce that it found 31 different vulnerabilities in various processors from the Threadripper and Ryzen 2000 to 6000 series Zs. Ah, but don't worry. Team Red has issued new firmware updates to OEMs to address these holes. So update if you can, and hopefully these aren't the types of updates that will also need updates to fix. But hey, that's the game. The update arms race. We'll keep you updated. Dueling stories out of the Western US today as the nation keeps moving forward, getting more electric vehicles on the roads and off the couch. They're lazy. The Federal Department of Energy, I don't understand what this is. The Federal Department of Energy announced that it'll be providing a $700 million loan for a mining project in Nevada to extract lithium, a crucial material for EV batteries. But a couple of states over, legislators in Wyoming have drafted a resolution calling for EVs to be phased out by 2035. <laughs> They're such early adopters over there. Those laggards in California. Basically, the politicians that came up with the resolution are just trying to pull a pretty stunt aimed at states like California, who are trying to phase out gas cars, with the bill's sponsors citing the importance of Wyoming's oil and gas industry as impetus for this bit of political theater. And to be clear, the resolution would be entirely symbolic if passed. So the states won't impound your Tesla simply for being a Tesla. Could have gone with hydrogen. But Elon says your Tesla will be able to impound itself by 2036. <laughs> You can't sue a robot, not yet anyway, but you can sue its creators. And this is exactly what's happening to Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, and DeviantArt. Famous robot creators. But not OpenAI, they're, they're rock solid. These services are all being taken to court over alleged copyright infringement. While the images that these art AIs spit out are originals, they're only created after the AIs have analyzed billions of pieces of art created by humans employed in content minds. In the Matrix world. The AIs use the knowledge they gain to imitate existing styles of art, a fact a group of artists are now using to claim their intellectual property rights are being violated. At the core of the matter are two issues. Number one, whether the AIs negatively affect the artist's ability to sell their works, and whether the AI art changes enough from the original pieces for them to be considered entirely new works of art rather than derivatives, which would infringe upon copyrights. I expect Midjourney's core defense to rest upon the fact that they don't even know what's going on inside the AI's demented little metal head. We don't know what we did. It's <laughs> just like, you could be goo in there. Can't put the toothpaste back in the tube, baby. Now it's time for the quick bits brought to you by Vessi Footwear, maker of your new everyday shoes. I can't catch. They're very confident about this. You will buy the shoes. Vessi's Footwear claims that their Dymatex technology makes their shoes 100% waterproof and keeps your feet cool in the summer. You're gonna throw that at me at some no. point. And warm in the winter. Their new Storm Burst shoes, I haven't seen these ones, combine the comfort of a sneaker with the grip and coverage of an outdoor boot. And Vessi has added extra laying for added warmth to boot, as well as extra grip to prevent you from slipping and sliding in unfavorable weather conditions. Ugh, that came fast. The Storm Bursts are feature packed and will make great gifts with the unpredictable spring weather coming up. Check out the Vessi Storm Burst and other styles at Vessi.com slash techlinked and use offer code techlinked for 50% off your entire techlinked order. Spring, the scariest time of year. Spring, the only season that's a verb. It's almost a verb. Hey, oh. we say autumn in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Quick bits were never meant to be harnessed by man. Enjoy the following news morsels. At your peril! YouTube has heard the cacophony of creators bashing the platform's latest update to its ad-friendly guidelines and has decided to take another look at it, they guess. The new guidelines led to videos that have swearing in the first two seconds being demonetized, which was a harsh change from the previous policy allowing swearing within the first 30 seconds. However, YouTube 
have not yet disclosed exactly what the new policy will be, so it's probably best to wait a bit longer before trying to make a living off profanity-filled tirades, you oh, bulls <laughs> They saw that coming. You may have noticed that third-party Twitter clients haven't been working correctly lately. Don't worry, it looks like this was probably on purpose, because it's Elon. Internal Twitter messages have reportedly revealed that the company cut off access from outside apps because, insert a reason here that would make sense to Elon Musk and his fans, <laughs> But some have speculated it's due to lost ad revenue from people not using the official app. And Elon needs that money. They've allowed clients to have access to the API again, so I guess Elon figured that it's probably better to have people tweet than not tweet. What will we do with no tweets? He likes money, but he needs tweets. It looks like a new Apple product announcement is imminent, as rumors have been swirling that the company will finally unveil its M2 Max and or M2 Pro powered MacBook Pro lineup, possibly alongside a new Mac mini that is not a pro that features the same pro chips or non-pro chips. I added in a, lot, a few more pros there. I want to zhuzh up the pros. This is real. A new MacBook Pro model has also popped up in a Canadian government database. We have those. So it looks like this rumor may actually have some moose legs. Moose have, they have long legs. We got, that really... we got those ones. Okay. Google Stadia may be shutting down, but don't throw away your controller, all six of you. Google has confirmed that they'll be enabling Bluetooth through a self-serve tool next week, meaning that you'll be able to use it as a generic gamepad for other PC games. Without it, the controller would have become an expensive paperweight or a prop for your next Twitch stream. Self-serve tool, AKA the Stadia CEO. Oh. <laughs> and if you purchased one of those big 86 inch LG TVs last year, there's a good chance it's not subject to recall. It's not. LG has recalled over 50,000 of the sets because they're vulnerable to tipping over due to the stand being excessively stressed under the TV's weight. However, LG also clarified that the hazard only exists when the stands aren't installed correctly. So make sure you read the manual and don't leave your TV out in the field. So there's hooligans about. And wind, it's just, it's a sail. Like cow tipping. You know? Oh, TV tipping, <laughs> cow tipping. <laughs> I'll give you a tip. This episode's over. Come back next time. That's Wednesday That's right. for more tech news That's what we do. and fun.